The blind Chinese activist who caught the world's attention when he escaped from house arrest is doing something he couldn't do back home, speak out freely. But he says the family he left behind in China is now paying the price for that freedom. Frank Uciardo reports. Chinese activist Chen Guangcheng became the center of a diplomatic struggle between the U.S. and China in April when he escaped from house arrest and took refuge in the U.S. Embassy in Beijing. While I was in the embassy, I said I didn't want to leave China because I, what I meant was I didn't want asylum. The six-day saga ended with Chen's exit to the United States, but the Chinese government retaliated against his family back home. The uh, deputy secretary in charge of law and order got 30-odd hired thugs with axe handles and busted their way into my, uh, the home of my elder brother and his son, kicked open their door and uh, retaliated against their family members. I understand that they were very severely beaten. Chen, who will be studying law at New York University, marveled at his newfound freedom. The central government is letting me come to the U.S. to study. That is unprecedented, regardless of what they did in the past. As long as they're beginning to move in the right direction, we should affirm it. But the blind activist also levied criticism about his country's treatment of disabled people. If we want to fight for the rights of the disabled, the first thing that the local governments are just acting illegally. They're demanding taxes, uh, fees, all kinds of um, charges illegally. Yet Chen remains hopeful there will be a democracy in China's future, but not necessarily soon. I'm very optimistic because I think it would be giving too much time to say in my lifetime. Chen Guangchang spent four years in jail for his activism efforts back home. He says human rights should be at the core of U.S.-China relations and that the U.S. has got to try harder to promote the rule of law in his country. Frank Uciardo for CBS News, New York.